Brian of Happy Healthy Vegan at the gym today and join me and I'll show you how I train and how I eat in a day. All right, so here I am warming up, which is my preference. I can't always get it. Sometimes there's a bunch of guys playing already. But yeah, I like to slowly warm up, shoot baskets from close in and slowly move back. And this is true if even I'm just going to lift weights. I just want to gradually warm the body up before I do anything intense. This helps prevent injury and it just gets you ready for the more intense work to come. All right, so I was warming up there for about half an hour and some of the guys that just got here said they want to play, so I put my contact lenses in so I don't get smashed in the face and we'll see what kind of games happen. So we're gonna play some three on three half court basketball, which is one of my favorite ways to play basketball. You don't have to run up and down the floor and you get to do everything, pass, you know, shoot, dribble. Here I got a pretty big guy guarding me, but he's having trouble pushing him around and shoot off the glass, make it, that's one of my favorite shots. And here I'm setting a pick and then I pop out to the line, lose all my defenders and bam, easy three point shot. Here I get open to the corner, a little off balance, but I nail another three-pointer. And you've seen I can play offense, but look at me, fight through these picks on defense. That was one pick from the big guy. Another big guy comes, tries to set another one, I run under it. And then yet a third pick, I just kind of get out of the way here. I'm always really active on defense. Here I'm guarding my guy, he's going to try to post up on me, nope. And then his man tries to go to the rim, and I stop that shot from happening to here. This guy gets open. He's oh my man. I come out to challenge a shot so he doesn't get a wide open look. And that was it. We won that game of three on three. So we're going to chill out for a sec and get ready for one more. I do a little jumping practice here. All right, so new game, more of the same. Blocking shots at the rim running out for wide open looks and nailing them. Let's see, yeah, I like to tap out shots when I can't rebound them, so it gives us another chance to score. And um, I miss that, but run out to the corner again and nail it. So here's my favorite play of the day. I had a little bit of luck going with me on this shot, but I run past my man, throw it up high off the rim, goes down, and my man is not happy at all. Here it is in slow-mo, and I looked why well, I didn't jump on this shot like a dunk. It was I was going off the wrong foot. I never jump off my right foot. So strangely, this turns out to be the last play of the game. It wasn't supposed to be, but after this bucket from my teammate, um, the guy guarding me just picked up and quit. I don't know if he didn't know the score right or he was frustrated. Either way, it's time to lift weight. So I go and give my legs a little rest and do some shoulder presses. I did about, yeah, I did three sets of these. I tried to do eight to 10 reps of about 40-ish pounds, depending on how I'm feeling. But yeah, these are good. These help me when I go up and grab those rebounds. All right, so now on to legs. And often on my leg days, I've been doing weighted squat jumps like these, and here they are. So now on to the trap bar. I always like to begin my trap bar workouts with a set like this of lighter weights, but moving it quickly. So now I'm starting to pack some more weight onto the trap bar, but I'm proceeding slowly and cautiously because for some reason or another, I haven't done any trap bar deadlifts since my last vlog here at the gym from one month ago. I'll put a link down in the show notes. And back then I'd worked my way up to 280 pounds. So today I'm gonna work up to 270 pounds, but I'm really not trying to hit any particular number today. I just don't wanna get injured because I took that little break. And also, have you noticed, I'm wearing my completely flat bottom, fully vegan shoes from As Nature Intended. I always like to do these lifts in these shoes. And we have a code. Use code HAPPYVEGAN at anibrand.com and five bucks from your order will go to Mercy for Animals. And I end my trap bar session here with this lift. I forgot its name. It's some kind of like Bulgarian trap bar deadlift. But I like how it has you have one leg back, one leg forward, so you really work one leg at a time, which is great for jumping. All right, all done. Been here nearly two and a half hours, so needless to say, I'm pretty famished. I can't wait to get home and have my smoothie. But yeah, it's a pretty typical day. I start off with the basketball, as you saw, warm up, actually, then play some basketball, then do some sort of strength training or explosiveness training, which I didn't really work on today. But anyway, I'm gonna go home and eat. All right, so I'm back and I just threw together my famous post-workout banana smoothie. I have a smoothie like this almost every day, but after a good workout like today, I want a few more calories. So I threw in 10 bananas, a handful of blueberries, 
and the clean machine lentine protein that I've been using pretty much all year as you guys have seen me use that and a little bit of coconut water and almond milk so it's about a thousand calories and a lot of people trip out when they see how I eat if you're new to watching our show you're thinking my maybe I eat too much maybe I'm getting too much protein remember I'm over six foot four six foot four and a half over 190 pounds so 10 bananas roughly a thousand calories so that's good for one meal because I should get at least 3,000 calories some people have been commenting protein's toxic you should getting too much protein no it's not that much protein bananas 10 of them have about 15, 16 grams of protein, plus about another 20 from the clean machine. So that's really not that much for one meal for one guy as big as me who just worked out. Oh man, seriously, there's like nothing I'd rather have after working out than one of these smoothies. Seriously, it just goes down so good. And I just feel really good drinking it. I feel great afterwards. All right, so it's been a few hours since I saw y'all last and I'm feeling a little snacky and let me share with you some of these kale chips that Angie made me for us for Christmas. And they're really cool. Unfortunately, you don't know how to make them yet. They're not in Kiwi Car Baby, but they will be in Angie's forthcoming next book, which will be out sometime in 2020. But mm, they're really good. And I know a lot of you guys are going to think this looks like weed. It's not. I can show you these are kale chips. They're, they have that kind of golden trichome weed color because of all the spices she puts on them. But yeah, I won't have too many of these because we are going to work on some kind of dinner right now. Mmm, look see here for our late lunch slash early dinner. It's none other than the Epic Burrito Bowl from Angie's Keep It Carb Baby. Speaking of which, we've had that on sale for half price for all of December and we will continue that half price off sale through all of January. I want to point out this meal includes all the basics of a plant-based vegan diet. Look at this, the rice, the beans, potatoes, corn, some basic veggies here. The only thing that's a little pricey might be the avocado, but other than that, this is a pretty healthy and inexpensive meal. All right, for dinner, this is kind of an odd dinner for us, I have to admit that Angie made us her hearty homemade oatmeal recipe from Keep It Car Baby. And this is very hearty, and it's actually very nice and pleasing to touch this warm bowl in the middle of winter here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks for watching. You've seen everything I've eaten today. Um, I didn't mention I had a banana before I went to the gym, so now that completes everything I had in a day. So hit like if you want to see more of these videos. I try to make them once every month or two, so let me know that you enjoy these. You know, I know they're not the biggest viewers, but they're fun for me to make. I, I like sharing with you guys what I'm doing. So anyway, hit like, share the video with others who want to see, or should see, how easy and simple it is to be vegan, how cheap it is to be vegan too. Um, so I guess that's it. Until next time, guys, remember, let's go vegan. Round.